Let us do an interesting question here uh, where you have to manipulate fractions. Okay, the question is like this. The answer is 3 8. Write a number problem with this answer that involves the question is adding two numbers. So the question is you want to make up a question. Okay, so this is not the normal type of question where you have a question and you have to answer it. Whereas here you have to make a question involving the answer. So the answer is given, you have to make a question. Okay, so what does it mean? So you have to find two numbers that adds to give you 3 8. That's the question. Okay, so, well, uh, there can be different ways in which you can get 3 8. Okay, so the easiest that would come uh, very easily to each of you is say 1 8 plus 2 8 is 3 8. Okay, so that's nothing wrong here. Anyone can do this. So 1 8 plus 2 8 is 3 8. This is perfectly fine. So let us think of some more examples. So this is one possibility. Can we write, can we find two other numbers which adds to give you 3 8? Okay, so let's start with say 3 16. So my question is 3 16 plus what? Okay, so let me put a dash like this is 3 8. Okay, so yeah, the question is 3 16 plus what is 3 8? So this, I'm going to write the same thing. 3 16 is same as writing 3 16, of course, plus what is, how can you write 3 8 as a 16th? Okay, so 3 8, so let me write it here. 3 8 is how many 16 Is 6 out of 16 is 6 out of 16. So what have I done? I have multi I have doubled, I have times this by 2. So you have to do the same thing to the top number by 2. So this is 6 16. So can I write the, the next step like this? So this is 3 16 plus what? Instead of writing 3 8, can I write 6 16? They are equivalent statements. So what is 3 16? plus what is 6 sixteenths. So obviously 3 sixteenth plus 3 sixteenth has to be 6 sixteenths. Okay, so let us check whether the answer makes sense. So what does it mean? So 3 sixteenth plus 3 sixteenths is 6 sixteenths. And 6 sixteenths uh, if you divide the top number by 2, you have to divide the bottom number by 2, which is nothing but 3 eighths. Okay, so can we think of any other number? So let us uh, be a bit brave. So this is a one more example. Say uh, 1, say 1 quarter. 1 quarter plus what? would give you 3 eighths. Okay, so I'm thinking like this. You can do it in different ways. So this is uh, 1 quarter. I can write this as 2 eighths plus what gives me 3 eighths. Okay, so let me make this what a bit bigger so that I can fit in that what inside. So let me make this a bit bigger. Okay. So two, 1 quarter is same as 2 eighths. And 3 eighths is, of course, 3 eighths. I have not changed this. So 2 eighths plus what is 3 eighths? Obviously, 2 eighths plus 1 eighth is 3 eighths. So 1 quarter and 1 eighth does give you. So, so we can say 1 quarter plus 1 eighth gives you 3 eighths. Okay, so let me make it a bit more uh, last question. Uh, let me make it a bit more challenging. What can be? So one more example. Say three, three, um, three fifth. Okay, plus what gives me three eighths? 
Okay, well, three fifth. Uh, this is three fifth, and this is three eighth. So I'm going to make both the denominators equal. So what can I do? So three fifth. So I'll write like this. Which is the number uh, that five and eight goes equally in, or five and eight goes in forty? So you know that five times eight is forty, or eight times five is forty. 8 times 5 is 40. So I'm going to write this as a 40. So this, if I times the numerator and denominator by 8, so 3 times 8 and times 8. So this becomes 24 out of 40. Plus what gives me, what should I multiply here? I should multiply this by 5. So this is 15 out of 40 okay so now think now this is a bit difficult 24 out of 40 am i right 24 out of 40 plus what is 15 out of 40 so this has to be a negative number so for some of you this may be a bit difficult uh, but it's always good to be challenged so 24 plus 40 gives you so let me write here 24 plus what gives you 15 okay so yeah so this what would be 15 take away 24 which is negative 9 okay so this is my this would be negative 9 out of 40 so let us check our answer this is a bit tricky so let me scroll this down okay so let me scroll this down okay so this, so we have made a, made a statement like this. So 3 fifth plus minus 9 out of 40 is 3 eighths. So what does that mean? Does it make sense? So this is 3 fifth. This is, so I'll not write this now. Okay. So yeah, can I write this the next step like this? So this is 3 fifth plus takeaway is takeaway 9 out of 40. So I want to make the denominators equal. So I have to multiply this by 8. So this is 24 out of 40. Takeaway 9 out of 40. Which is 24 takeaway 9 is. Uh, 24 takeaway 9 is 15. Okay. 15 out of 40. So what goes in 40 and 40 or uh, 15 and 40 so you can divide both by 5 so 15 divided by 5 is 3 so this is right so we have done many ways or uh, we have expressed this in different ways so the first was this 1 8 plus 2 8 is 3 8 what is the next one the next was next one was 1 uh, 3 16 plus 3 16 is 3 8 this was the next one 3 16 plus 3 16 this uh, 3 8 okay 1 quarter and 1 8 this 3 8 and this was the most difficult one that 3 fifth plus negative 5 out 9 out of 40 is 3 8 okay so let us take one more example so the same question when you subtract two numbers, you should get 3 8. So let me write a question. So say 3, uh, three mm, what's the number? So let us start by 1 quarter. Okay, or suppose let me make a bigger number. Say 2, 2 fifth. Take away what gives me? 3 8 okay so I want to make the denominators equal so I should multiply this by uh, I should multiply this denominator by 8 to make it 40 and I should multiply this by 5 so what happens the next step is this is 16 out of 40 minus what gives me 15 out of 40 so use your logic 16 out this 2 fifth is same as 16 out of 40 
So 16 out of 40 take away what gives you 15 out of 40. So this has to be 1 out of, so let me make this a bit bigger. <laughs> so this is bigger. This has to be 1 out of 40. Okay, so let me, let us check the answer. So what we are saying is 2 fifth take away 1 out of 40 gives us 3, 3 out of 8. So let us see that. So this is, if you multiply by 8, so this is 16 out of 40. Multiplying both the numerator and denominator by 8. Minus 1 out of 40, which is 15 out of 40. Now what number goes in 15 and 40? Obviously 5. So this is 3 out of 8. Okay, one more example. Say, let us make a big number. So which would be a big number? say 3 quarter minus what gives me 3 eighths. So here 3 quarter, if I double both the numerator and denominator, this is 6 eighths minus what gives me 3 eighths. Okay, so 6 eighths minus what, again let me make this bigger. Okay, so this is the question. 6 eighths minus 3 eighths would give me 3 eighths.